Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're checking out this compact CQ2000 PC. So this is something that got given to me a long time ago, made for Windows 7, compact of course, which is a bit of a bad sign, and uh, AMD E2 chip. This computer seems to run solely off of a video card, and that blows my mind. An old video card. I've been trying to install Windows 10 on it, all night and it's still at zero percent i couldn't get it from within windows 7 either it has an ssd in it right now it didn't come with an ssd from factory of course and um yeah you know what let's just take a closer look at this beast let me get this thing disassembled at first look the system seems not so bad because um we have okay so we have headset in and then microphone usb SD card and then the power which is really interesting is a laptop power brick that is strange so no standard power here there's a different kind of power and if you lose it you are toast okay so this unit is from 2012 it's called a net top and I've never heard of that term before Net tops are small computers that are low powered and are basically just used to browse the internet. So we've all heard people say, yeah, I just need something to browse the internet. Well, this is it. This is the PC version of a netbook. And man, those things after about two years, they were just useless. You couldn't do a, couldn't do a thing with them. And uh, I've actually had to, to throw mine out. I mean, I, I use mine everything right into the ground, but I couldn't get this thing to perform for me. So this is a net top. Once again, running exclusively off of a GPU, a graphics processing unit. Before we go any further, let's take a look at what we got here. We got Ethernet, USB. DVI. I was surprised to see DVI. I wonder if it could push out um i wonder if it could push out dual monitors okay anyways let's take a look at this we got a nice clean board here four gigs of ram there's the cpu there we got the northbridge cpu doesn't even have a fan on it i've seen other models that did have a fan on it running trying to install windows all night and uh, it wouldn't install of course not too hot this is where the hard drive goes apparently it came with a 256 gigabyte something or other i slammed in uh, and uh, I slammed in an SSD and the thing worked okay. It worked okay for what my parents uh, needed. I, I uh, set this up with Windows 7, gave it to my parents. It still has Windows 7 on it. Here's the Windows 7 hard drive. Uh, so what I usually like to do is I'll transfer you over to a new hard drive and I'll leave the old one there. So you know what? Let's plug in the old hard drive and see if I can get a benchmark done off this thing. Be right back. All right, she starts off with an AMD E450. Summary from the website notebookcheck.net. The AMD E450 is a dual core processor for small notebooks and netbooks. On average, the CPU performance of the E450 lies a bit beyond a Celeron SU2300 at 1.2 gigahertz or Athlon 2 Neo K325 at 1.3 gigahertz. So yeah. I can get it running Windows 7, no problem, but Windows 10 just will not load up on it. I just installed a mouse, and it's still working on it. Definitely not the fastest. Okay, so it's five minutes after I turned the sucker on, and uh, the CPU has actually come down. When I had this thing on the SSD, for some reason, it turned it on, the CPU was spiked at 100%. Yeah, so it looks like I was wrong. This thing wasn't run off a uh, GPU. It just seemed like it was AMD Radeon HD 6320 graphics. Yeah, yeah. This definitely feels like a netbook with how slow it is. It's so slow. I'm just loading it up to diagnostic startups, then I want to see what it benchmarks at. But this thing feels slower than a DC 5750, like an eight or nine year old system. Okay, so benchmark. First up, we got the planes at 13.6 frames per second, not too bad. Required level of anti -al aliasing not supported, rendered without score will be penalized. Okay, okay. 
All right, and here we have the space rocks. We are doing this at 69 frames per second, not too bad actually, and able to run in the required uh, 1080p, yes, naturally, but still not freaking bad. Oh, 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 oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we got some DirectX 11 action. Holy crud, I didn't think it'd be able to push this. I have not seen anything this slow push DirectX 11. Look at how slow those jellyfish are going. That is something. That's freaking amazing, folks. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm impressed. It can't install Windows 10, but it can run the jellyfish. Let's see if it'll do DirectX 12. This should be interesting. It should be good. Nope, <laughs> I could not do it. Could not do it. Oh my god, I think it crashed it. No, 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 no. We got more. We can continue. It'll just affect the bottom line. Alright, okay, so I got to go through the test results and see why, but we're only gotten a result of 239, but I have gotten worse than that before. Yeah, okay, so it looks like that's about the best score we're going to get out of this sucker. I can't get it on Windows 10, so time to take the parts out of it. It's interesting I can't get Windows 10 on this. I can get Windows 10 on virtually everything, except this. But, if it has a compact in the name, it, uh, no doubt it will let you down eventually. It's just how she goes. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't go. She didn't go today, and that's how she goes. So here's one last and better look at what's going on. We got the CPU, the North Bridge, two slots for RAM, and that's it. That's it, that's all. No other places to upgrade, and that's just how she goes. That's it for me, folks. Net from Nest Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, take care of each other, folks.